So in this video, we are going to calculate a weighted average method. So let's check the question paper that we have. So on the question paper that we have, they, are, they give us the table that have a cost price per unit, number of units, as well as the date and opening balance until the last sale. So when we calculate weighted method, guys, what we need to do, we must first calculate how many units we have at the end. Okay. Now, let's check. At the beginning of the year, now we are calculating units on hand. Okay. At the beginning, we have 80 plus 100 of purchase plus another 200. Okay. Then after that, we need to subtract the one that has been sold. And we add again the one that has been purchased and subtract another one that has been sold. It's going to give us 220 units at the end. Okay, then after that now we can do average so that we can get average price. Then we multiply by 220. Okay, how are we going to do average? When you do average, make sure that you add opening balance and you add all purchase if you have any return you need to subtract okay in this case sales is not included when you do average okay let's take opening balance opening balance we must get total figure we have to say 100 multiplied by 80 then it's gonna give us okay you need to say 100 guys multiply by 80 and then it's gonna give you amount of 8000 okay in on the bottom, you need to put a total figure, then you divide by unit. Okay, 8,000 plus, okay, I will just put a calculation on top. 8,000 plus another purchase is 150. 150 multiplied by 100, then it's going to give us 15,000 plus Another one is uh, that we purchase is 200. It's going to be 200. 200 multiplied by 160. Okay. Let me calculate this one. 200 multiplied by 160. It's going to give us 32,000. Okay. Then another purchase. It's 150 times one foot. Okay, then this one is gonna give us 150 times 140. It's gonna give us 20. It's gonna give us 21,000. Okay, then after that, we need to say it. 80 uh, okay let me go back to those unit don't include the unit of sales 80 plus hundred plus 200 plus 150 okay let me calculate this 80 plus 100 plus 200 plus 150 is give us 58 okay even on the bottom you have to calculate total okay we have 58 this side okay let's add on top 8000 plus 15000 plus 32000 plus 21000 is give us 76000 then after that you're gonna divide it by 580 and it's gonna give you 143.40 cent okay then you are not done you get average per unit now in order for you to get total you must multiply by 220 okay it's going to be 143 and 40 multiply by 220 
then you're gonna get amount of 31 okay it's the rent guys show that currency 31 548 that's how you should calculate average please make sure that you go and also check the fifo method that i did please don't forget to like and subscribe on this channel guys because it's still going to help you i'm going to release more and more videos and also go and check the other videos that are related to the topics that you are doing for accounting as i have already done a lot of videos i'm gonna see you on the next one